yesterday I did a bunch of fillets down in the mast trunk. So I just got to get some sanding and uh, sand all those fillets down and then see if they're acceptable to start working on the mast blocks. So the mast blocking is going to be made out of this stuff mainly because it uh, almost already fits. It's a very close fit and it's nice and thick, 45 mil. The purpose of this stuff is to go around the mast and make sure that the mast has the correct angle and to hold the mast in place. Pretty good, I think. Bottom one, it's a bit more tricky, I think, because I have to get it to fit all the way down in the bottom of the mast trunk. Also, I have to cut this in half and cut a hole in it. Or do I have to cut it in half? I have to cut a hole in it in any case. I don't know. The mast rake on the scamp is two and a half degrees. In order to figure out where I need to place the holes in the blocks, I've created this little sketch here. I've got this vertical line here, and this line here is the center of the mast. So it goes down through this block here and up through this one and it's set as two and a half degrees from the vertical. So this being the top block, the middle of the hole will be somewhere around here to this edge it will be 68.2 and on the bottom block, it'll be 68 millimeters from the front end. Now I've marked them here. This is where the mast is going to go through on the upper block. And this is where the mast is going to go through on the lower block. Over the height of the mast trunk, that distance should give us two and a half degrees. Might be worthwhile figuring that out actually. 36 millimeters. Like this. And that's 36. Height of the mast trunk, 883. 83 minus 45, 838. And if I remember back to my school days, okay, it must be 10 because that's opposite over adjacent. So 10 alpha equals 838 over 36. So 838. So 10 alpha is 23, so alpha equals 0.43. Wait, what? Something's gone wrong here. Okay, the real answer is 87.54. I accidentally did tan alpha instead of inverse tan. 2.459, which is close enough to 2.5. Okay, so we just did a sanity check. The numbers look like they check out. Okay, these two fit in. Just gotta make the holes in them now. Making the holes might be a little bit tricky because the mast didn't turn out exactly round. Reasonably easy on the bottom, because I can just trace it out on a piece of paper. But a meter or so up, how do I do that? Well, I have an idea. Here is where the lower block will sit. Here is where the upper block will sit. And here, I've cut an 80 millimeter section out of some thin plywood. I'm gonna try and transfer the section onto this piece of wood. This ring should now be pretty much nine millimeters bigger than the mast. Well, that seems like a pretty good approximation there. There are a few little gaps, but nothing too dramatic. And this blacky arrangement here is how we're marking on the bottom block where the mast goes through. Well, I need to cut the holes in these blocks here. Because the mast is raked backwards at an angle of 2.5 degrees, I want the holes in these blocks to be also angled at 2.5 degrees. So I think I need to create some sort of uh, angled shims that will sort of angle them up as I cut it. A two and a half degree angle drawn on this block looks basically like that.
Fuck. Well, they're not perfect, but they should be good enough. And it's very important that I get the angle the right way around. If I put it on the block like this, the cut will be going straight up and down from the block's perspective now. Looks like that. And if I take it off the shim, we can see that the cut will be angled slightly backwards. So that's the way we want it. Because this is the aft end of the upper block, I better write that down. The plans and the building manual show these blocks being cut this way and clamped together around the mast that way. I think I'm going to do it this way. It's not like that I think I know better. It's just going to be a lot easier to do. Well, they've got their little shoes on. Okay, these should now fit the mast and they should have a two and a half degree rake in the holes. About to do the gluing of the mast blocking. This is my little setup here. A lot of clamps to make sure that everything's aligned. There are little gaps in here because I guess these weren't quite right. But having the blocking be a little bit bigger is fine because um, I'll just make sure it's all glued and then I'll trim it down if it needs to be when I test fit it. Two blocks glued in. The complicated clamping arrangements to keep them straight. Just gotta make sure that everything's still aligned. Still level. Still level on this one as well. We should get an angle of 92.5. 92.8 is where we're at, which is fine. And this one down here. 87.5 so cool we've got them in position with the glue so yay i got a dolly for the boat now and the reason i've made this is because i need to test fit the mask and I can't do that in the garage because of this thing so I need to move the boat outside temporarily but I don't have a trailer well after a huge effort we got the boat on the wheels this boat just uh, wheels around now Thank you. 